Hey y'all, welcome back to Everyday Mama. I'm Leanne, and today I'm going to share with you the last five books I read and the one I'm currently reading. So grab a coffee, sit back, and enjoy with me. I'm going to share with you these books in the order that I read them, not necessarily in the order of my favorites. I want to let you decide that for yourself. I read this book in 2016. It's entitled, I Love You, Ronnie, and it's by Nancy Reagan. The reason I love this book is it shows a more personal side to the presidency, how it affected him and his wife and those around him through letters that he wrote to her. It's very romantic. It would make a wonderful Valentine's anniversary or birthday gift. It was a birthday gift to me from my husband, and he even included a sweet little love note to me. So you could do this for your significant other as well. I will show you, I've earmarked some pages that I loved, but it has his actual letters in there, but then it shows, um, it's typed them out so that you can actually read them. There's also some great pictures of them throughout their life together. And it just tells a beautiful love story. It's an easy read, it's a quick read. I recommend I Love You, Ronnie by Nancy Ray. I read this book in November of 2016. It is entitled The Someday Jar by Allison Morgan. I adore this book. It's whimsical, it's fun, it makes you think. It's funny, which I love. I had real book struggle with this book. I don't know if you've ever heard of that term before, but I consider book struggle to be, I never wanted to put the book down, but I never wanted the book to end. So I tried to prolong reading the chapters. I tried to slow myself down, but I would read too many in one night. And I just wish this book had lasted longer. It was really good. So it's a little bit of romance, a lot of whimsy, and a lot of heartfelt thought in it. Skipping to September of 2018, I was recommended by my friend Heather, thank you Heather, to try out Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough. And this is way out of my element. Like I don't usually read stories in the genre. It is dark, it is mysterious, there's a lot of suspense in it. It has a wowzer of an ending. So if you like books like that, you will love this one. My husband and I read it together as part of our in-home date nights. And if you'd like to see more on that video on how we spend less money and spend more time together, then you can check out that video in my description box below. But this one had humor in it. It had darkness, it had um, suspense, like I said. You're gonna wanna read this with somebody because you're gonna wanna talk about it. We loved being able to read a chapter together and then predict what we thought would happen next and then predict what we thought would happen at the end. The next book I read during our RV vacation this summer. If you'd like to see vlogs on our trip, you can find it the link in the description box below. This one is called God is in the Pancakes and it is written by Robin Epstein. She's a comedian from Los Angeles and she decided to write a book. It's a young adult book, easy read, very, very funny, took me back to high school, a um, little bit of a love story going on, but more matters of the heart. And it's not necessarily a religious book, it's what you make of it. And it really has a very positive message throughout it. It also has a little bit of twists and turns and um, gets a little complicated in there, which I like. So check out God is in the Pancakes by Robin Epstein. This next book I read a couple weeks ago, August of 2019. And this book is a children's book and it was recommended to me by my eight-year-old son. Guys, if you want to show that reading is important, read what interests your child. You will learn more about your child. 
You will learn how they think about you by what they recommend. My son picked this one out for me because the people in the book go to visit a cabin in the woods and he knows that's one of my favorite places in the world is to be in the middle of nowhere in a cabin. So I really loved that he knew that about me and that when he read this, it sparked an interest for him to share it with me. It was very precious for him to do that. So I took the time to read it, obviously very easy to read, but such a cute story. This is called Sugar, Gummy, and Lollipop, and it is by Ellen Miles. She wrote an entire series called The Puppy Place, and she's continuously adding new um, books. This is such a cute series to read with your child or to start off chapter readers because it's interesting. Everyone loves dog stories. They always turn out wonderfully, and it's just funny. They always have cute little quotes and sayings and they even have the dogs talk in here so when my son and I would read some of these stories together whenever it's the dog's turn to talk it will be in italics and my son when we first started reading together I would read the paragraphs and he would read what the dog said and it was just a fun time together so I recommend these for reading with your child that's all for the books I've read now I want to discuss with you a little bit about the book I'm currently reading this is called All Dogs Go to Kevin, and it is by Jessica Vogelsang, Dr. Jessica Vogelsang. She is a veterinarian, and this book, I found it at the Dollar Tree. Guys, there's such a great selection of books at the Dollar Tree. Go check it out. Like, I was very surprised and happily impressed. All Dogs Go to Kevin is my favorite kind of combo in a book. It's endearing, and it's funny. I love when a book can mix those two so beautifully and make you want to keep reading. This is a long book. It's over 300 pages. There are three different sections. They all highlight these dogs and the impact they had on this particular vet. Please go and try to find this book. It's worth your time. I am just starting the second section about this dog and I have already gained so much love and compassion for veterinarians and just understanding about what they go through than I ever had before but I also have more compassion and understanding for dogs if that's even can happen because we have a little puppy her name is Juniper say hi Juniper are you napping we love her immensely. She's our little fur baby. She mentions cats in here as well, but her main focus is on the impact and life of a dog and how it can change you as a person. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll comment below and let me know which book you're most interested to try. And also leave me a recommendation for a book I can read once I'm done with All Dogs Go to Kevin. I'm always looking for a new read and I can't wait to read your comments below. Thanks for watching and until next time, wishing you lots of simplicity, progress, and joy. Happy reading!